Hey folks, G Wiggly here, and we are about to start a brand new Let's Play. Uh, we're breaking the tedium of Astro Boy, and we are going to play an SNES, well, I wouldn't say classic, but it's classic to me. This is one of my childhood favorites. We are going to play Pocky and Rocky. Pai Natsume. They are indeed serious fun. I enjoyed the uh, hell out of this game as a child. It's a uh, top-down shooter. You run around throughout feudal Japan, shooting things and whatnot. Let's raise that volume a little bit. Music's quite good in this game. A little louder. Yeah, that's good. Okay. You get a choice of playing as Pocky or Rocky. There's, there's no real difference between them. Other than looks, really. I mean, they, they're, they're bomb attacks. I think the bomb attacks are slightly different. Oh yeah, you have bomb attacks in this game. I'll get to that later. But we'll be playing as Pocky. Because we can. And here we have the story. On a rampage. She putting into that, because I guess Pocky's kind of scary. She put them in their place with the quick fast. I suppose rampaging is befitting of losing one's mind. But you can't intentionally rampage. They're not all bad rampages. Because lecturing cures rampages. I'm called rampage now. A bit obvious, but to the point, don't you think? If you get that reference, go outside right now! Oh no, booze! And curry and rice! An undead hero! A cavalcade of horrors! Stage 1, Haunted Shrine. Let's do this. Okay. She, Pocky, runs around, and she's just Shrine Maiden. She throws talismans. Okay. Uh, the blue power-ups increase your talisman power. So they get wider, bigger, and stronger. The orange ones, which I'm ignoring for the moment, change your uh, regular... I uh, got hit there. Uh, change your regular uh, shots to uh, a fire shot. It's uh, not a spread shot here, like uh, 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 skeleton baskets. I hate baskets of skeletons. But uh, the fire shot is a straight shot. It's concentrated, it's not as wide, but it's, it's really strong. But for now, I'm sticking with this because it spreads. And I like spread shots. So... Depending on the stage, it's better to have one or the other. Oh, and we get the dog. Kick ass. Look at that hot dog action. Or something. But yeah, we'll be sticking with the spread. And uh, this little woman playing the shamisen here is uh, every stage there's uh, one hidden godlike character hidden somewhere in the scenery, and if you manage to find them and, and uh, break them out, they will grant you a level of uh, power-ups, including extra bombs and um, other things like that. Oh, uh, the way. Okay, so other than uh, this, she can also sweep things out of the way. Sweep, 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 sweep with her staff. If you hold it down, 
you can charge and spin. Worthy of the hero of time. Another Dharma. Wearing a monocle. Well, he's not wearing a monocle. Ah, forget it. I'm not going into that. Maybe next year. It's not on the manifest. We're sticking to the manifest in this game. It's important. I'm not getting off track like with Astro Boy. Let's never speak of that game again. But, yeah. That's the basic extent. Ah, bomb. Ah, I sacrificed my shield for that. Was it worth it? Time will tell. I doubt it. Health. Power up. This is the uh, Max Talisman. She's hurling those things like there's no tomorrow with the Get Fast. With the Get Fast? I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. But, yep, here we have our first boss. Inside, outside, go Sonic. So, he pretty much runs at you and he rolls. He also spits peas. If I can, yep. He also spits them like bullets as well. But he doesn't seem to be doing that today. He seems to be uh, favoring the roll attack. Got no problem with that. It's easy to avoid. It's no big deal. Oh, yeah, that's her. She can also slide on her face. It's one way to avoid things. There we go. But other than bombs, which I'm not going to waste, those are the little uh, green balls there. Hang on a second. Ah, uh, yes. Sometimes during bosses and mid-bosses, they have little extra things you can get for power-ups, like his uh, uh, pea bowl there. If you attack it uh, with a sweep attack after he's dead, uh, uh, um, a uh, beckoning cat god will come out and give you a one-up. Very nice. I don't remember any of the other bosses doing it exactly, but I I'm sure it happens here and there. My memory's probably just fuzzy, or, or maybe I'm totally wrong. I don't know. Either way, we got a one-up. Because no piano goblins really know how to rip it up. And that is the name of our villain for this game. He's wearing a black mantle, so he's aptly called Black Mantle. And he looks like no heart. <laughs> Who indeed? stopping here for now. Next time on Let's Play Pocky Naraki, we go to the Enchanted Forest. I'll see you then.